It's a tweet from our old pal, Lexi Friedman. He had a message that he needed to let the world know. It's, it's a message of love. What brand of love is it, Chris? Is it, is it tough love is, or is it, is it saccharine schmaltzy? I'll read it for you. I'm not going to do Lex's accent. I'll just read it in my own. Sometimes it feels like the world has all gone mad. I like to explore ideas, varied perspectives, historical context, all with calm intellectual humility. But people online want me to pick a side and to be outraged. Nah, I'll keep doing my thing. You do you. Love you all. Heart. <laughs> uh, humble bragging match. Lex, 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 Lex. Did you detect humble bragging from his calm intellectual humility? He's just reflecting on the path he's chosen to travel there. Yeah. To struggle through. People keep trying to demand that he picks a side and he's, he's not the kind of guy that's gonna pick a side. He he loves he loves us all. No. His heroes, Matt, you know, Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, his Thanksgiving with the Trumps. He's not gonna pick a side with Andrew Huberman and his detractors. He's not gonna do that. No, no, he, loves, he, he doesn't has empathy empathy for all of them equally. Yeah. If it comes to Fauci and RFK Jr., he regards them, you know, equivocally. They're both, they're, both just, they're both doing their best. They're both trying their best, and that's what matters. That's what that's what No, no. Lex's bias and sympathies are very clear. He hates Anthony Fauci and the damage he did to science's reputation. And RFK Jr. is an interesting good man. The scientist scientific uh, leaders, uh, Anthony Fauci being one of the representatives, I would say completely dropped the ball. Robert is an activist, lawyer, and author who has challenged some of the world's most powerful corporations seeking to hold them accountable for the harm they may cause. They spoke with arrogance, they spoke down to people, and the deep expertise that somebody like Anthony Fauci uh, claims to have. I believe Robert's voice should be part of the debate. To call him a conspiracy theorist and arrogantly dismiss everything he says without addressing it diminishes the public's trust in the scientific process. And that you have to blame the leaders. And I think Anthony Fauci was the scientific leader behind the American response to the pandemic. And I think he failed. I recommend that people read and listen to Robert F. Kennedy Jr. They have way more humility than uh, people like Anthony Fauci. Andrew Huberman, all the empathy, what a great man, a person that Lex knows is honest and true spirited and fair. And those women in that, that's just a hit piece. They're just trying to tear yeah. down. Like nasty. Lex is, yeah, yeah nasty women. <laughs> Lex is not in the middle. And the bit that gets me about that, Matt, is yes, the schmaltzy love pill bullshit that Lex always views, but it it's that presentation that all people from all sides are trying to encourage Lex to be a, you know, like a polemicist. And he just isn't. And yes, Lex is not a foaming at the mouth, Joe Rogan, Dave Rubin, but his mm. sympathies are incredibly yeah, he's obvious. Simply, he's simply not the Christ-like figure that he portrays himself at. And like, it's just so blatantly obvious that the, that the strong, strong subtext of not just this tweet, but almost everything he says is that he's a, just this wonderful, wonderful human being. Like you don't go around. Have I ever explained to you, Chris, how humble I am? Like how humility, intellectual humility, and just caring about about other people and making the world a better place is. It's just the. It's just the. Just it's part. It's in my DNA. You don't need it's to say DNA, it, Matt. Chris. I know it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. But but if you did send me that, <laughs> that I'd be very concerned. You know what? <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, that's the thing. You don't need to tell people what an intellectual humility titan you are if you are one, because they tell you, right? They say it to you. You don't need to go out and tell people. But Lex, Lex doesn't. It's so transparent. But again, look at the replies naivete. under it. Yeah, and it's the, theme, the theme is naivete. Yeah, and it, and, and it shouldn't work. Like it shouldn't work. Somebody. It is obviously not true. And it shouldn't be possible for Lex Friedman to just tell people that he is a Christ-like figure suffering on the cross because of his goodness and his integrity. And for people to go, yes, yes, bless you, Lex. It shouldn't be that easy, Chris. Thanks to 
Elon Musk's Twitter, you know, the blue ticks get uh, promoted, right? And plus Lex has blocked everyone who issues even mild criticism, including his fans, right? So there's a self-selected sample here, but I just went to look at his Twitter profile to see the replies under that. And let me just read the first two, Matt. You are doing the right thing. You are basically Switzerland, based and neutral. I listen to all your podcasts and always learn something. Picking sides is for the small-minded. And that's from Tales from the Man Cave. Next, Pierre, investor and educator. Maintaining intellectual humility and the desire to explore various perspectives is crucial in a world that seems increasingly polarized. It's important to remember that growth and understanding often come from considering all sides of a discussion. Why sentiments, Matt? Why sentiments? Are you sure these aren't AI chatbots? Because that sounds very similar to what they would say. My thesis is that it's now impossible to tell the difference between between a schmaltzy AI chatbot and a blue check on Twitter. They're, they're fundamentally the same thing. This is what a true intellectual looks like. And we need a middle. And thankfully, you seem to be a leader in that space. People deserve Lex. They deserve Dr. K. They deserve Jay Shetty, Jordan Peterson, Hassan. They deserve to buy ideology merchandise and to thank Hassan for his sacrifice in selling it so cheaply. Like, I destroy the world whenever I I see this kind of thing. So, and, and just to mention, Matt, I just saw now Lex's tweet himself with Huberman and Rick Rubin, the music producer, arms round each other, the three of them. The band is back together, crying emoji, two of my favorite humans on earth, Huberman and Rick Rubin. So there you go. Don't worry about Huberman and the controversies. They're getting on okay. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about for Lex, is hanging around with famous people and high profile, high status people and issuing schmaltzy bullshit about what a humble intellectual titan he is. And yeah. people lap it up. Lap it up. <laughs> so Yep. So there you go. We've left we've left a, a bitter, sour taste in everyone's mouth. I hope you're pleased with yourself, Chris. Give us the good news. You don't you don't have any, do you? Look, I just wanna say it's important to always look for the good in people, even when you disagree with them, because as we, you know, judge people, our hearts grow smaller. And what this divided world needs is bigger hearts, more caring, more consideration. So, you know, please just think about your enemies as people. Treat them as people, okay? They're the real people. That's all I want to say. Yeah. I love yeah. you all. <laughs> yeah, you just you're not selling it, mate. But maybe it's your face. I don't know. Something <laughs> yeah. something about the way you deliver it. If I was doing it like Lex, I would need to say, people call me an intellectual titan. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I'm just yeah, someone. No, he doesn't say that. No, it's just people call me an intellectual titan. But I don't let that bother me. I just go on doing what I do because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>